Welcome to scale modeling videos. In today's video, I take these two nose cones and turn them into these. Right here. So I will be showing you how I paint the spirals on these two nose cones. Let's get started. So in today's video, uh, I will be painting these two spirals right here. Now this is 1 by 48 scale, this is 1 by 72 scale, okay? I will use a different technique to paint this one, and I will use a different technique to paint this one. Radio. Now, um, something I want to um, clarify is straight off the bat, yeah, you can see that's not a perfect spiral, okay? This is just a video on showing you how to do it, you can fix that. Uh, if you I, I can fix that if I want later okay now the reason I say that is because the white paint is the base uh, uh, color for both these okay that is enamel in both cases the top paint or the black is acrylic uh, in both cases so if I make a mistake with the black paint I can uh, either clear all of it using acrylic thinner and it shouldn't damage the white paint underneath or I can just fix it with a small toothpick or, uh, along the edges if I feel the need to do so. Radio. I just wanted to explain that up first. Now the reason I use a different technique on the 1x72 is because this technique is really hard to replicate in such a small scale so I have to use something different for the 1x72 scale. Radio. I hope all that makes sense. So yep. Yeah. Let's move on. I will first paint the 1x48 nose cone with Humbrol's Matte White. As this is enamel paint, I'm going to let this dry for at least 5 hours before I touch it. Before we begin masking, make sure you have paint in your airbrush cup ready to go for the next step. To mask the 1x48 nose cone, I'm going to use Tamiya's 2mm masking tape. I'm going to cut out a strip, which I think is about the right length. In this case, roughly, I think, about 5 centimeters. I'll cut that. And then I will cut the tip of the uh, masking tape in a triangular shape, Okay, as you'll see here. And I'm going to uh, fix it up a bit as well after I uh, make the initial cut to make sure that the, uh, the triangle cut is gradual. Now uh, Let's get to masking the nose cone. So we start from the center, we hold it down with our thumb, and then we rotate the tape around the nose cone. Now this can take quite a few attempts. This is actually my third attempt at trying to do this. Uh, and as you'll see, the it's really um, difficult to, to do this. However, you can get it done. So um, take your time and get it done right. Now the reason I got the... Uh, I told you guys to get the paint ready in the uh, airbrush is because this masking tape tends to come off after a little bit of time so you don't want uh, the masking tape to come off as soon as you put it on radio so here I'm going to adjust uh, the tip again uh, what I like to do is I like to use an earbud to make sure I really press down on it and as soon as I've pressed down uh, on the masking tape uh, to make sure all the seals are tight I'm going to get straight into brushing it. Here I'm going to use an earbud to make sure I press down on the masking tape uh, to make sure that there are no gaps and then there's a nice seal. Radio. As soon as this is done, we're going to get straight into painting. There you go. Let's get to it. So for painting, I like to use a thick paint. Uh, obviously, this is an acrylic paint. Uh, this is, to me, is uh, XF1 flat black. 
and I'm using a paint ratio of 80% paint to 20% thinner just so I can get a thick consistency of paint because the thicker the paint the less chance that it will seep through the masking tape. Once again I'm going to let this dry for about 30 minutes before I unmask it. So here we go, and a nice spiral, okay? All right, now let's move on to a 1x72 scale nose cone. Once again, I'm going to let this dry for uh, five hours before I touch it. For 1x72 scale, I like to use a thin strip of Clever Putty and I roll it out with my uh, fingers, as you see here. The reason I use uh, Clever Putty instead of masking tape is because it is extremely difficult to mask um, a nose cone in 1x72 scale. Okay, It was very difficult to do in 1x48 scale. Uh, it is even more difficult to do in 1x72 scale to the point where I cannot do it. Uh, someone uh, out there, some of you viewers might be able to, I just can't. I prefer to use a thin strip of Clever Putty, roll it out as you see here, then grab it by one end, as you see here, almost like a worm, and then spiral it down onto the nose cone, which I'll show you here, okay? Rotate the nose cone as you spiral the uh, worm of Clever Putty on. And this will give you a really good seal, okay? Straight off the, uh, the bat. Now, to fix any problems or mistakes, I like to use a toothpick, okay, to fix up um, any issues. So on this one... Uh, I w I'm going to fix the very end of the um, Clever Putty, as you'll see here, with the toothpick to make sure that it is uh, as symmetrical as I can possibly get it, okay? Now, I know the top isn't uh, really uh, as symmetrical as it should have been. Now, I learned that in hindsight, okay? But, you know, it is what it is. I'm just, uh, I am only here to show you the technique. You... I uh, can then go ahead and master it, okay? Once again, as soon as this is done, we're going to get straight into painting. The paint is going to be the same. I like to use a thick acrylic paint. Once again, 80% paint to about 20% thinner ratio. So, yep, this is done. Let's get straight to painting. I'm going to let this dry for about 20 minutes before I remove uh, the Clever Putty. Now to remove the Clever Putty, I, I like to use another piece of Clever Putty. So a large piece of Clever Putty and then stick it on and then try to remove it that way, okay? If I try to use my fingers, as you saw there, it doesn't really work. So just use the other piece of Clever Putty. There it is. Okay, try to focus. Yep, there we go. Okay, now uh, bonus content. I'm going to go ahead and paint using a very thin paintbrush over the top of this to uh, try to uh, make that spire look a bit better, okay? Because this is acrylic paint, if I make any mistakes, I can really clean it off uh, and then start again if I want. Here are the two nose cones. 
one by 48 and one by 72. I hope you guys like the uh, video. Uh, and to my current subscribers, I'd like to say thank you. And if you uh, want to see more content like this and haven't subscribed, please subscribe.